Welcome back guys. So today I've taken a different approach to fences and I've made a few sort of slat slash panel fences. Uh, this was actually quite an enjoyable uh, project so I'm definitely going to be doing more of these for my table, especially the World War II ones. So I started off again using the uh, lolly sticks, measured them to the right height like I did in the previous uh, videos, figure out what your miniature sizes are and then adjust accordingly. I think I was doing 12 mils apart uh, for each of my slats um, and that worked out pretty well perfect. Literally then just chop it down to size. You can see I already chopped off the, uh, the curved ends just to give me the squares that I wanted. I found with these clippers they're a bit blunt so I pressed in first both sides and then I could just sort of snap them uh, to the right lengths and that worked quite well. It also worked in the fact that it kind of gave a rough uh, top to each of the planks, which picks up the dry brushing later on. Then what I did decide, as you'll see later on in the video, is rather than leaving them as the large blocks, I would split them in half just to make the pan each of the individual planks smaller and more um, closer in scale to the miniatures rather than these big boards. And then I would require a skewer later on to go on the back just to uh, be the sort of the backboard that you see on fences. Although in reality you'd probably have two or three of them. These are miniatures so I just went for one straight down the centre. And then you've got your popsicle stick on the base which you just need to cut to the right size. So this, this sort of wood, when you cut it lengthways, splits very easily, so this process, or this part of the process, was very quick and easy to do. Uh, but again, when you've got a 15mm figure, just having the planks slightly smaller, it becomes more realistic rather than just big chunks of wood. I guess theoretically you could use the other approach, if you wanted to use maybe a wire brush to rough it up to make it look like there's individual planks. Um, but I was happy with this approach, I was kind of experimenting and I'm happy with the outcome. So I tried to pinch all of the individual boards together between the ruler and the base timber. But unfortunately the glue wasn't quite warm enough at this stage. Uh, but because I cut them smaller, they would move more freely, so that's why I had to pinch them in between the two. And then I put a bead the whole length. Although it immediately pulled up the first one, so this is a bit of a delicate process. Then you grab your backing board, push them all back in nice and tight. You do have to work reasonably fast so the glue doesn't dry. And then just put in that beam into the glue and then let it dry. Good thing about the hot glue is it doesn't take too long for it to uh, dry nicely. And then the next step here is to again put your bead along the base, straight down the centre. You can see I cut the angles just in the corners on this just as an attempt to see whether that would help to make the right angles later on. And then you've got your one piece now which is easy just to stick straight into it. Overall, I think it came out pretty pretty nicely, and they're quite resilient. 
you can kind of see there the attempt with the uh, the right angled corners which kind of works and that's a 15 millimeter plastic soldier company British infantry so the scales work out quite nicely uh, we did miss one step here I'm not sure why the footage didn't record but what I did was cover all of the uh, fences with a layer of PVA or Mod Podge as I use uh, just to try and bind everything together then spray painted black and then painted with the dark brown again which I got from the warehouse just a generic cheap craft paint then I dry brushed for the highlights using that same brown with a bit of white and a bit of bone coloration and that picked out the colors nicely and then on this step it's quite literally just a bit of Mod Podge along the base dip it in the flock and done Now I used to be the sort of person who liked to just have plain flock bases, but more recently I've enjoyed actually putting a bit of sort of foliage, um, static grass tufts and things like that on my miniatures. And so I've started doing that a little bit more. And I think the outcome is well worth it. it makes things look a lot more realistic. But as I said earlier, I really enjoyed this project and I'm definitely planning on doing quite a few more. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.